Hi, Richard Book Acupuncture and Yoga Teacher here. And this week in my video blog, I'm going to talk a little bit about the five elements and also what the five elements are a division of and maybe the one element which sits behind them. So when I treat a patient using this particular model of med medicine, five elements acupuncture, we diagnose the person according to five different elements. So you've got a wood element, fire element, earth element, metal element and water element and each element within the body corresponds to a different pair of organs and depending on the elemental balance of what's going on within someone you can kind of pick it up um, using your own senses so I can see different colours on them and I don't mean that on a very kind of etheric level particularly it's not like I'm kind of doing some kind of chakra analysis and seeing colours around someone but actually on a more physical level so you can see different colours inherent in someone, different sounds, sound of someone's voice gives you an indication of what's happening in, in the organs in the body, what someone smells like and also someone's emotional disposition all give a clue about the elemental properties that are going on within. Also someone's behaviours in life also uh, correspond to different elemental properties and there's also of course the relationship with what someone's doing outside of them as well so different imbalances around in our life also affect our elements within so yeah so I'll diagnose a patient I'll look at the five elements and I treat the elemental properties and the elemental balance obviously in order to try and balance someone's overall state and constitution but what's interesting is we see the five elements as being a division of yin and yang so as well as using these five different elements you can also categorize them according to whether they're yin or yang and they've got a yin or yang property so in order to explain this a bit more clearly I'm just going to talk a little bit about the seasons within the year because this kind of illustrates it really well so if you think for a second that between the winter solstice and the summer solstice this is a yang phase where energy is expanding outwards and in growth and then between the summer solstice and the winter solstice, this is a yin phase where energy is moving inwards. And we're perpetually going around this cycle in life. So life circulates round between yang phases of energy moving out and then yin phases of energy moving back in again. And we ascribe these five different elements according to whether they are yin or yang. So yang elements are the wood element and fire element and yin elements are the water element and the metal element and we use the earth element almost like as a neutral element it's the kind of balance point if you like between the yin and the yang phases and so each person's energy is continually working around this cycle so again I'll diagnose them you know maybe what the five elements are doing I'll also diagnose them what their yin or yang state is doing and sometimes we treat on a, on a, there's two particular channels actually, there's a channel which runs up your spine and over the top of your head, which is the do channel. We've also got the ven channel which runs down the front. So you can treat these particular channels and they almost act as reservoir channels for sending energy out into the five elements. So again in the same way you've got the seasons as part of, of the yin and yang phases of the year. Within the body, you've got the five elements and the paired organs, um, which kind of correspond to yin or yang energies within the body. But today, when I was treating someone, I was ultimately aware that behind yin and yang and behind five elements, there's obviously something else as well, because these are all divisions, like the divisions of yin and yang are a division, so the divisions of the five elements are divisions of yin and yang. And so what are yin and yang a division of? That's the question. So for me, yin and yang is actually a division of the one energy which exists behind everything. So I was thinking today that ultimately the most potent treatments you do, you're treating directly at source, you're treating directly at the source of energy which then comes down and firstly might divide into yin and yang and then it might divide into a phase of three, which we often liken to heaven, earth and man, which is three divisions of energy. And then obviously it goes on and breaks down further, so it'll divide into the five elements. And a quick way, uh, maybe a, a visual way of looking at this, if you actually look at my business logo that I use, so if you go to richardbrookacupuncture.co.uk, 
in the top right hand corner of my website, my business logo actually depicts these divisions from, from the one source energy down through yin and yang, down through heaven, earth and man and through the five elements and then you can divide it on further so you could perhaps go into the twelve meridians which are again part you know and it's all these divisions all the way down from the one if you look at my little picture uh, top right hand corner so there's a behind everything you'll see a flame now this flame was I actually first saw this in about 2002 um, I was doing a particularly potent spiritual workshop and I kind of saw in my mind's eye there was um, like a light energy which came in and I recognised it at the time as actually a light energy which sits behind um, all, all of the matter before it divides and from that if you look at my logo again so you've got the flame and then you've got a yin and yang symbol in there so that's the first division so the first division of the one source and the one light and the one power is yin and yang and you've got the illustration of the man, which is actually me, is a silhouette of me dancing actually. So you've got a silhouette of me, and you've got roots going into the ground, and you've got branches heading up towards the sky. And this is the third division of the source, you know, which is we connect into the density of earth, um, and also the heavenly etheric um, matter of, 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 of heaven, if you like, of, of the, yeah, more yeah ethereal energies and as a person we sit between those two places in balance so you'll see that depicted in there and you'll also see the colors of the five elements around the outside as well uh, so again that's the fifth division so I predominantly work a lot with these divisions I was actually at one point thinking of putting seven stars around it as well to illustrate the seven different chakras or could equally put perhaps um, a division of 12 around it to illustrate the 12 different meridians as well uh, twelve or the 12 different organs which are within the elements um, but anyway I'm kind of wandering off a little bit so the point is though is that like on one level I could just treat someone's five elements or I could look at their overall yin and yang disposition or I can be looking at their connection with the one source behind them and I believe as a practitioner that if you can tap into that one source that that in effect will flood through and it floods through both the yin and yang, the ren and do channels within someone and it will flood through the five elements and all the organs and um, you know which comprise those five different elements and so the question is then is what is that again what is that one that one source well I believe it's someone's connection with their soul and if you treat someone and you can touch them in such a way as their soul is um, affected or realigned or rebalanced with your life's direction, vision, purpose, then energy will naturally then start flooding through the other levels of you. Because your soul in itself is actually a fragment of the one source. And so when you realign or you get that soul level connection and then the energy from the one source actually flows through it uh, and like I said will we'll then empower the rest of your faculties and the rest of your divisions of self. And that's the part I like to touch when I treat a patient. I like to try and touch that deepest level of someone, their soul level, their soul being and awareness. Okay, so I hope some of that made some sense. Um, and if you want to find out more, keep listening to my blogs. Visit my website, richardbrookacupuncture.co.uk. And um, yeah, come and, uh, come and see me at some point as well. Ask me some questions. I do sessions where I talk about the philosophies behind Chinese medicine and behind connection with life and source as well. And uh, yeah, it'd be great to see you. Thank you.